The United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, assists industry within developing and emerging economy countries to transition towards a sustainable energy future. This video explores how organizations can improve their ad hoc energy management that detracts from consistent energy efficiencies or improvements. By utilizing the International Standard for Energy Management Systems, ISO 50001, organizations can develop a Structured Energy Management System, or ENMS. An energy management system is used to measure, monitor, and continuously improve any organization's energy performance, which translates into saving money, conserving resources, and addressing environmental concerns. It is a comprehensive and structured approach to energy management. A practical framework modeled on the plan, do, check, act methodology. Let's look at how you can implement an energy management system in your organization. In the plan phase, the very first step should be to secure management commitment. This is crucial. Explain the business benefits for taking a systematic approach to managing energy and ensure that the leadership agrees to be involved and is visible in the activities of the energy team. A plotted graph is a great way to get management buy-in as it clearly shows what can be achieved by applying ENMS. In this phase, company management allocates resources and assigns responsibilities for implementation and maintenance of the ENMS, signs the energy policy and regularly reviews the internal energy team's progress. The energy team, amongst its other responsibilities, clearly defines the scope and boundaries of the system and reviews legal and other requirements that apply to energy use. Then, plan the changes required to improve energy performance. Here the team conducts an energy review to establish how much energy is being used and where is it being used. Identify significant energy users, what variables are driving this usage and who is influencing it. Develop an energy baseline and energy performance indicators for each significant energy user. Decide whether an energy audit is required. Set objectives and smart targets. Identify opportunities for continuously improving energy performance and draft action plans to meet objectives and targets. In the do phase, implement the actions drafted, look at daily activities and continuously improve the organization's energy usage. As part of the doing phase, review the training, awareness and competence requirement of personnel that influence and impact energy usage and put together a training plan. Ensure documentation and records review and control. Review operational control. Ensure energy efficiency is considered in the design process and during purchasing and procurement of all products, goods and services across the organization. Ineffective maintenance increases energy consumption of technical systems and equipment. So ensure that the significant energy uses, SEUs, are effectively serviced and maintained even when this function is outsourced to an external service company. And lastly, maintenance should also be considered as part of life cycle costings when procuring new equipment. Next, in the check phase, use the energy performance indicators to check whether energy performance is actually improving and energy savings are being made. If not, the reasons why should be identified and corrective action taken. In this phase, monitor and measure key characteristics of the energy management system. Evaluate legal or other compliance. Monitor energy methods related to energy bills, NPIs and others. Ensure measuring instruments are calibrated. Conduct an internal audit. Address non-conformities and monitor energy performance for improvement. And finally, act to sustain and continuously improve the system. 
The United Nations Industrial Development Organization has a proven track record in unlocking the market for industrial energy efficiency in developing and emerging economies. Unido's ENMS program provides industry with the expertise and capacity to improve their energy performance, thereby increasing competitiveness, safeguarding employment and protecting the global climate.